This is 10 minutes past the hour of 8 a.m. I'm supposed to be at the office, right? Yeah, I'm heading up now. I'm fully dressed. This is what I look like. See, anyway, today, once I get into the office, the plan is to sign in and then head straight to LMA for my PVC. Anyway, LMA is the registration center I chose because every other center in the city of Potako is always busy, filled, and jam packed with people who has come to you know collect their pvc but lms seems to be the lga with the least population when it comes to this registration issue so that's why i decided to choose that location anyway it's not like i chose it intentionally i chose it because my colleagues and every other person my office had used that um lga and they always come back and they tell you there are no crowd as long as you've done like a pre-registration online you should check them out because it's always less crowded so that's why we're going to this morning once i get to the office clock in and i will head there i'm likely to take you guys along so if you haven't gotten your pvc what are you waiting for like i always say it's not just a matter of getting your pvc it's a matter of being able to come out on that day to vote whoever you choose to vote that's the most important thing anyway i'll see you guys when i'm ready to leave bye my phone is ringing they have come for me bye many hours later hi guys hi guys <laughs> i'm so happy every time i pick up my camera to film i feel this joy okay welcome back to my channel um yeah it's not like it's been edges i just spoke to you guys this morning i'm supposed to go pick up my pvc like i said from um lma lga but it didn't work out because i have tons of work on my table this is 6 45 pm <laughs> i'm still here at the office and guys Today is Friday. Friday is always very hectic for us here. Anyway, it's something like I can actually leave the work and come tomorrow. But of late, I've been trying, like literally trying all I can to make sure that I don't work on week week weekends. Yeah, get so I can use my weekends to plan for my YouTube personal time and every other thing. Yeah, that's it. Anyway. I just wanted to update you guys that PVC did not work. Ah, Matthew, I will tell me, and now you're talking. See, see his face. Come and show your face. Come and share. Come, bend down. Hello, this is the malt guy. See, he's running. <laughs> he's the guy that likes malt. Matthew, say hi. hi. Say, let him see you. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so like I was saying, I just wanted to update you guys that um, PVC did not work today. It has to be definitely on Wednesday. I was scheduled for Wednesday. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm still here. I'll see you guys when I get to my house. Peace, 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 peace. Next morning. today is a saturday and um i don't even feel like doing anything of late for the past one month i've not been to the gym i've not worked out the only thing is i've been trying to you know eat healthy stay as much healthy as i can i've not exercised shit i've not done anything i feel like i am losing motivation for a lot of things i don't know why i don't know 
what could be the trigger but that's how i feel so this morning i had first off let me even start with the fat down let me get some let me just get something to put my phone so i can talk okay guys um let me start with the father of late i've not been working out maybe because it's as a result of the fact that i don't know how i feel about my workout group i don't know of late i've not been you know having that positive energy or vibe or feeling towards my workout group and i think it's also part of the reason why i don't feel like working out lately because there's something about them they overdo things i am not i might look chatty i might look um friendly but i'm not the type that do so well with so many group of people and now the group is like i noticed they form smaller cliffs smaller groups smaller cliques in the midst of the whole thing so sometimes it seems like some certain set of people are not getting the positive vibe or positive energy they need and there's something about them that is common i have told them about this but i can't keep saying it every day when you complain like if someone don't attend workout section for it mind you is not a gym where if you don't pay a subscription you can't continue no this is like a registered group where you go regularly to work out so if someone in your it's like a little community or a social club more like i think that's what it, they have turned it into it's like a social club where if anything happens to a everybody tends to contribute money and attend the event and all that and all that and all that but i noticed something if you're not in a certain group and you don't show up for once twice even though you're properly registered you pay your dues nobody cares shit about you as long as you're not in that little groups little clicks little clicks in you know the club and all that so if you don't show up one month two months nobody cares you get so that's something about the club that is discouraging me of late and to be honest i don't like the energy and i have been considering not attending anymore i'll see if i can do my workout myself i used to do it before i like i take it so serious that i do it myself until i joined this, this group yeah they do a lot of other cardio and the rest of it not like they're the best but I'm thinking of not going so this Saturday is one of those Saturdays that I just want to chill Netflix and um, maybe drink a glass of wine and you know rest and all that that's just basically what this Saturday is going to look like anywho because I've had a very 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 busy week like productive yeah productive but very busy so i'll just chill today and see maybe create one or two content and see how it goes anyhow i'll take you guys along i'll see you guys um when i see ya guys um it's almost five o'clock and i have an appointment with this particular bra my skincare product is finished and i needed to restock so i am heading to go get um some of my bath soaps this particular brand i've not used them in like four years yeah i've been using sprouting new but they are currently out of stock and um i don't know they're out of stock sure so instead of me running at a loss i just decided to try this people so i'll be heading down there and i might likely take you guys along or better still i'll see you guys when i get back but let's get going because i'm late and um i'll see you guys this i'm looking very simple yeah <laughs> very simple today no drama this is just how i'm looking i'll see you guys guys this is how this soap came in this little pack i kind of like the boxing anyway so i got two pieces of it and um yeah as at the time of doing this voiceover i'm not sure how i feel about the soup <laughs> i really don't know i can't tell anything about it but it just saved the day which is 
prevented me from breaking out that's just it the soap is basic yeah it's basic nothing special about it the next day good evening today is a sunday and uh, one of these days i tell you guys this weekend is just to chill at netflix am i netflixing no but i'm just chilling that's practically what i've been doing this weekend today i haven't been feeling myself i won't come and lie i am going through like an emotional trauma which i don't know how to explain or how to go about it but i don't know if it's something i want to talk about on this channel but i am going through one of the roller coaster of emotional thing and um i don't know how to deal with it but yeah all day long i've been sitting down doing nothing and i had a blog that i wanted to vlog but i just couldn't continue because i wasn't sure how i feel or how i'm feeling and all that boy we go there all right shabby we go there all right last last yeah that's it by the way that's not why i came here I didn't come here to complain even though i came here to rant somehow this is what i'm having um lemon and um water for those of you who don't like to drink water and you're looking for the best way to drink water i think this is one of the best ways to, it will keep you full and it will also help you lose weight so if you're in the category of those who are looking for alternative means of losing weight just slicing lemon you can add if you're sweet tooth you can add a few drops of dates blended dates or date syrup or stevia yeah or you can add cucumber and pineapple these are the things that just help with your digestive system and at the same time they help you lose weight and keep you full like the one i had yesterday i literally had a lot of cleaning to do in the house so from morning till about four o'clock i didn't remember that i had not eaten anything the only thing i was doing was just drink <laughs> sorry the only thing i was doing was just drink this whenever the water finishes or goes down i just go refill it and continue and that was the only thing i had and yeah that's it so if you're looking for alternative means of drink um drinking water this you're looking for a way of losing weight this does it so that's it there's something else i don't know i'm caught between adding it to this vlog or not adding it to this vlog i have um i'm on seeds that i soaked since yesterday i want to blend it i want to make almond milk and i'm going to take you guys along so let's just go and do it at once let's get let's go away <sighs> let's get go away My experiment has been in the fridge since yesterday so yeah this is the date this is what it looks like this is three pieces of dates i've removed the seed and voila this is my almond seeds i think they should be okay. i don't know so i need to de-skin it to see so that we can i don't know if i was supposed to put it in the fridge in the first place because the skin is no longer okay it's there now so i need to de-skin it and then come and blend it see very easy i soaked it overnight it's very easy that's what i think let's get started my people my people let me tell you guys something if you're lactose intolerant or your children are or you react to any form of milk <laughs> almond milk should be your go-to taking almond milk has been the best decision i have ever made and there are no regrets 
totally no regrets about it so i just wanted to come here and put that out also if you want to go vegan you want to live a healthier life almond milk should be your go-to it's quite easy to make if you want it creamier you can let me know in the comment section i can do a separate video on that and show you how to make it more creamier anyway let's get started bye <laughs> died on me so i had to charge it a bit before coming back here to conclude with you guys i'm done with the almond milk let me show you guys just hold on this is what it looks like let me turn down here this is what it looks like are you guys seeing me see how rich creamy you can even tell from here i don't know if you guys can see oh that's my almond milk for the week i don't know how long i'm going to take to finish it but it's advisable that you drink it within a space of four to one week four to seven days but for me our advice is finish it up in between three to six three to five days you should you know finish it up to avoid it um having fungi or getting spoiled or sad something else you should also not forget to do is don't forget to put it in a fridge that way it will stay there and remain the way it is guys that almond milk i bought <laughs> i got it for like say a thousand two fifty or so gave me this so you can imagine i'm no longer buying what i will no longer buy almond milk from the store I'll just be making my if you need like a detailed video of this how the process the step-by-step -step process just let me know in the comment section and I will do a separate video for that for the meantime yeah this is what it looks like so I can get started I'll be turning it so you guys will see all right time to eat so finally we're getting it done today and um hmm, i don't know how i feel the plan is just to go to the office clock in and then head to lma for my pvc but let's just see how it goes whichever way it goes i will also take you guys along anyway i hope you're still getting your pvcs you shouldn't be among those people that say uh it doesn't matter it does matter our country is crumbling things are getting worse every blessed day and it's not good news in fact so many countries are taking us for granted that's the most painful part of it so you need to get your pvc as much as i need to get and it's not just getting pvc it's coming out to vote and all that and um yeah that's it hey, let me show you guys outfit for the day <laughs> this is my outfit for the day i don't know if you guys can see this is a black top from primark this is a black jean from zara and um, my 
sneakers so basically this is what i'm wearing for the i'll see you guys um <laughs> when i get to lma bye if you're looking for where to get your pvc and you're in the city of potakot you don't want to stand for too much come to lma lga no this is not a sponsored ad they are very nice and polite people that's why i decided to talk about them the crowd here is not that much so within an hour you can get your sorted that was what it took me to get my sorted out and the people here are very polite so that's why i decided to talk about them anyway guys let's just continue with this vlog bye <music> What's this one? Uh, see people that come to do I neck, they are doing you too. You say that you are fine. Just give you time. Just know that you are still mine. Um, today is a Thursday and this is the morning hours guys I just came here to complain because I don't know if anyone has ever felt what I'm feeling right now you guys know I use glasses and um, short and long story of me using glasses is the fact that um, I have some growth in my eyes and so they're like prosthetic shield for me not like I have a bad sight or something but i will do a separate video on my site <laughs> so now i am coming here to complain or to rant or to seek help as well because i don't know i on i think on monday on monday morning i got to the office and i discovered that um after looking at my screen for a few hours i practically one of my eyes went blank like i couldn't see nothing nothing i couldn't see nothing from that eyes and I don't know why so I I don't know what happened something just prompted me to you know check and know which of the eyes is going through the stress and it turned out that it is this one apparently I think because I'm always sitting in front of my screen in front of my desktop my eyes has been going through a lot of stress from the light rays and I wasn't aware until Monday when these practically shut down like it went blow i couldn't see that i didn't know until i started like experimenting because i already know i have sight issues so i was able to experiment to find out which of the eyes was giving me issues and it turned out that it was this so i had to do this do like this and like this again to be able to tell which of the sight is giving me these issues <sighs> guys i don't know if any one of you had gone through this please let me know in the comment section because i'm scared i panicked please let me know because <laughs> i had to record this to be sure that i am not the only one who had ever gone through this yeah i have to get to work <laughs> because it's too early to start the blog but i'll see you guys when i'm fully dressed for work <laughs> 